Are you sure about that? have probably come to this video because for some reason your Apple ID is disabled. Well today I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. Hi, my name is the Epic Clasher and today I am going to be showing you how to fix a disabled Apple ID without changing the password, without making a new Apple ID, and without all that complicated crap. So it is very simple and all you have to do is first go into Safari, go to Google, and go to the tab, and search getsupport.apple.com. Link will be in the description below. Once you are here, you will get this screen. Scroll down to Apple ID, and click that. And it will ask you what is happening with your Apple ID. Click Disabled Apple ID. Once you get here, it gives you some options. One of them is reset your password. Another one is talk to Apple support, schedule a call, or call Apple support later. The one you need to do is talk to Apple support now. So click on that. And right now, it will tell you to put your first name, last name, email address, phone number, and your Apple ID, but that is optional. Now, once you've done that, Apple will call you in two minutes or less. And what they're going to do, they're going to ask you for your Apple ID. They don't need your password. And once they've got it, they're going to be asking you to go to this site called appleid.apple.com. Once you've come here, you sign into your Apple ID here. Once you've done that, they're going to put you on hold. For about 15 minutes until they get another person on to enable your account. Once you've done that and another person has uh, has uh, started talking to you, tell them about how your app ID is disabled and what, when they will ask you for a four digit pin or like something like that. So if you go to the bottom of the screen, I can't really show you. I might get an image on screen. There's like at the bottom of the screen, there's like a security pin or create generate a pin, security kit pin, something like that. And then once it generates, tell that code to the person that you're talking with. Once you've done that, the employee will the employee will tell you to update an app. If the app updates, like here, then you're saved. But if it doesn't update after many tries, you're basically f***ing.